Hopefully I can get onto the edge of that piece of film and get it out. Yes, it's coming. That's good. And you can see it's just the end of a piece of uh, film. There's another piece in there. Yeah, I told you they came in multiples. Let's see if we can get that piece out too. Right. Yes, success. Here we go. So we have the leaders from two different films there that have been torn off in that slot. So I can see a tiny fragment down here. Let's get that out. I think that's it. I think that that spool is clear now. Sometimes you get quite a few pieces of film wedged in there, which makes it very difficult to add another piece. Just checking the action of the spindle here to make sure that it rotates freely. There's no roughness there. I won't disassemble that. They're a bit of entertaining to get back together anyway. So the spool. I'm apply a little bit of synthetic grease to the inside of the spool at the bottom. And I need to apply some to this tension spring here. That should do nicely, and that spool should just be able, to be able to clip that into place. There it is, it's sitting on there now. Our film advance shaft needs to go on next. Now, this needs to be cleaned, it's um, quite dirty. And the grease is very dry, there's a bit of verdigris and rubbish on there. All of that dirt needs to come off and then we can assemble this and put that on the top of the camera. So, cleaning time. Put the camera body to one side. Using some naphtha, I'll clean this shaft. Again, all I'm really interested in doing is removing all traces of old grease, dust, ingrained dirt, that sort of thing. And I'll clean the bush, the guide bush from the top. inside and out. It's got quite a bit of uh, dried grease there. That looks good. So, some synthetic grease will lubricate this bush. Put the shaft in place. Little touch of piece of verdigris there, that's good, that's gone. Alright, that's fine. This tab engages with the slot in the top of the film take-up spool. 
So I need to just make sure that the spool is lined up and the tab can in fact drop in there. There it is. That's done. Rotate this into position because it's a, a funny shape. It only fits in, in one position. Pop in the three screws. These are countersunk headed screws and the heads on them are flat. The countersunk headed screws that held the struts mechanism to the body have raised heads. The heads are slightly rounded. Get those three screws down down tight. Check that the film advance revolves smoothly and it does. That's good. We have a variety of components that go back in here to make up that film advance. I'll start cleaning them and stacking them up. I lay them out on the bench in the order they came off so that I can put them back in the correct place. First we had a plain washer that went on there that presses down over the shaft. Then we have a toothed ratchet wheel and I'm looking at the state of that, looking at the state of the teeth on that ratchet Seeing what sort of condition they're in, making sure that the teeth are not misshapen. It all looks good. Just removing any threads of cotton. Now that shaft has got two flats on it and the, these little teeth, these uh, little ratchets have got areas that go against those flats. Excuse me, I'll move that. That's keen to try and stab me to death, that thing. So just get this in position. That goes on that way round. Well, it's tight. I'll try it 180 degrees out, see if that improves it. I don't remember these being a great fight to get off. It is the right way round. I'll just press that on. That's good. On top of that we have another plain disc. Once these are stacked up I'll use the take up knob to, cut, to pull them down into place. On top of this we have another ratchet gear. This one has teeth pointing anti-clockwise. That goes on there like that. Then we have a plain disc. This disc has got a pushed up centre, a, a protruding centre at the top. That can go on there. And if I take my advance knob and spin that on, I should be able to use that to push those gears down all the way onto that shaft. So I'm putting my spanner on the inside to hold that take up shaft. If I can get it on there, there we go. Alright, so I've used, used that knob to push those pieces down into place. 
So they're all sitting correctly now. And start putting the other components back in place. Components here. All right. These components are set to be. Uh, what are they to set on this camera? It releases the action for the next shot, is it not? Yes. Alright, so let's slide that piece on there. And this screw is very dirty with dried grease, so I'll just clean that off. Get that screw running in. That looks good. I'll just tighten that up. That's not holding that down correctly. There are two very similar screws here, and I hope I haven't mixed them up. That doesn't look like it looks looks correct to me. Let me have another go at that one. Now it's not holding it down far enough. Why not? That screw doesn't want to go in any further. It's something to do with these struts. I'm looking to see if that looks misshapen at all. It doesn't. Interesting. Now I'm just checking this screw on that plate. No, I think that's correct. No, that is the correct screw. And there's nothing there that should be causing us problems. No, that's all right. Just tighten it up a little bit more. It seems to be doing its job. Okay. We have one little lever here. This is our advance and uh, rewind lever. That fits on there like that. Just checking the action. It's not supposed to be loose. There's supposed to be some quite quite some resistance there, and that feels right to me. That feels good. The components for the film advance that control the action, so that it only revolves the correct distance unfortunately I've disturbed the position of these on the bench so that they're not laid out as neatly as they once were 
We'll put that down to the, all the fun and games of getting things correctly positioned. It sits in there like that. We have one more spacer washer. This one is thicker. And then we have the other ratchet lever. That's good. This lever goes on the top and we have to get our spring hooked up. So I'll get that spring hooked up to that lever first because that's a bit fiddly. That's good. Get the lever in position. That looks fine. And we have our... I'll have that lever in place. The spring is hooked up and here's the screw that holds those components together. That's good. Checking the action of those levers there, good. Now there's a spring that goes on here, and that spring acts against both of these levers to keep them in contact with the ratchets. And I'll get that spring in place. that post in place, that spring around the corner, it's on that one, and the other end is on that one, is it working correctly? That's too tight, something's not sitting correctly there, that spring. That spring's misshapen, should be higher up on that post. Let's have another go at that. I might have to take that spring off and give it some attention, I think. That spring's not sitting in the correct plane, it's slightly bent out of shape. It means it's dragging on the, uh, the lever instead of acting against it smoothly. I'm just going to give that a little tweak. That may do it. Right, Let's see if I can get that spring in position. Pass it under that lever and get it tucked up behind the stud on it. That's correct. And at the other end, it should be acting on the other lever. That's correct. Now I'll put the knob on here. Okay, I was looking at the state of that spring and the position of my levers. Now that's just trapped in there, that's better. Let's get that down tight. That's better. That's good. Now I've got to put the 
other component in, in here that, that meters how much film travels through the camera and it also looks after our frame counter, our frame counter mounts on the top. It's very dark here at the moment. Um, hope you're getting enough window light. This component meshes with the gear on the top of the uh, sprocket shaft, or the sprocket wheel in this case, since it doesn't have a sprocket shaft, it only has a sprocket at the top. I'll put a little touch of uh, grease on that, drop that into position. Now there's quite a stack of components here. Just checking that revolves smoothly. It does. No problem. It's a little daisy wheel spring that sits over that. This component, I'm just going to put a little bit of molybdenum paste on the inside there and I think the outside rim might be good that's where the levers run over run over this so I need to make sure that they run smoothly over it and fall into that notch correctly that looks good so that should go on top of that other piece that we've just got there like that Pull that lever back, that's fine, that sits just exactly as it should. Three components give us our frame counter. So I'll just clean these and swing them into place. That's what I'm looking for. So the frame counter dial from the top of the camera. I'll clean that, clean underneath it, there's a lot of dried grease there, I want all that off. That's good. The spring, this keeps the tension on that uh, lever, on that dial, and drives it, so it needs a controlled friction you could say. I'll give that a little wipe with molybdenum on the bottom surface and the top surface. That spring goes on there like that. The frame counter goes on the top like that. And the screw that holds that together goes in the centre. Run that down. That's trapped, that lever's trapped under there at the moment. I've got to release that trapped lever, that's better. So, to wind onto the next shot, you press this, which moves our frame counter, one thing, disconnects our film advance, and then you can wind on. As the spool comes round, it turns that uh, cam wheel that we had on there previously that drop allows the pin here the lever to drop in and lock the film advance you press the release lever to release the film wind for the next shot and this drops in again as the sprocket wheel revolves so that's all working well that's good Here, of course, I'm rolling the sprocket wheel with my thumb, which isn't quite the same as the film doing it. So it's, uh, they work more reliably with film than they do when, than when you're rubbing your thumb along it. 
I'll do that screw up tight. I need to do my viewfinder next. I need to clean this. It's just lens front and rear in there. They're held in with a spring clip. That's quite clean. I'm not going to pull that all apart. I've got to find some more cotton buds now. Back shortly.